Arriving in the Grenadines feels like coming home. We're ready to leave for back here, back way. After about two weeks holiday in the Grenadines, we decide to go north. The wind is pretty good, it's a little bit south from east. The next coming days are not so strong, so we will have lovely champagne sailing towards Martinique. to see the differences in behavior <laughs> between the Bali's and Uttermeers. We are sailing above nine knots. They don't see the reason why to even hoist a sail. Well, the beer is cold in the fridge. I was standing here, steering upwind as well, 20 years ago. Hey brothers! <laughs> you were standing... A little bit afraid! <laughs> we were standing in the middle of the cockpit and we went four knots or something like that. Uh, the boat speed is 11 knots and our speed over ground only nine. Next island is Kanawan. We're gonna pass it on the lee side. We've been there as well with Mario and Nina, but there was nobody there at the moment. Uh, but there was already a nice restaurant or something like that where we lounged. <laughs> in the, during the time that Mario walked to the airport uh, to check us in or out, or as a contemporary joke. He has his sails up, same configuration as we have. Uh, you remember from Heineken Regatta, but upwind this boat doesn't really sail. Downwind it's, uh, it's a nice boat and uh, inside uh, it's pretty luxurious. If I had to choose between Fontaine Pajot and Lagoon, I'm still on the Lagoon side I'm afraid. There's plenty of water if you want to stay on the water longer. So this is the entrance of the Supiot Marina. Station right in front of us. Speed over ground, almost five knots. It is such a nice sail. We are reaching with the standard sails with hardly any waves. The boat goes very smooth.
In Bekia, we see the guys from the Ark again. The big difference between 20 years ago and now is that the comparison between the amount of monohulls and catamarans has completely flipped. There's a huge amount of catamarans now in the Caribbean. Cloudy today. The arc boats are all here. We are going to get a to sail in the direction of Martinique. We might stop on Saint Lucia. This is Hoka Hay. It's the fastest monohull in the world. Uh, we'll try to make some drone shots together. Well, maybe out on the water, the light will be better. The mast is higher than ours even, 28 meters, as the mast is further back on the roof. We're passing the tip of the island of uh, Vecchia, Vecqua, and then of course it's gusting. Well, Mororo had his big Code Zero on. Well, his Code Zero is uh, 152 square meters, so almost as big as our Darwin Janica. So it's actually the first time in the world tour that we really sail together with Mororo with the same boat as our own 52S in the past, so it is so nice to compare. Yeah, great Mororo, you're rolling out a big sail, perfect. But it was a little bit too much earlier, I think, and now you're going to be fast. I really like the 52S. It's a beautiful boat. The combination of the level of comfort and speed is very good. Now we are slowly heading a bit up as at the most westerly point of St. Vincent, the main island, we have to go up anyway a lot. This is St. Vincent. Not a lot of boats stop here as it has the reputation of being really criminal. Uh, the wind is getting more and more from the back. That's nice. And stay close to Mororo. Well, we didn't expect to be able to sail the Downward Jennica as well today. Saves us work changing the sail in five miles. Then we will be happy if we can even uh, let the Code Zero on. Mororo is overtaking us. Oh, he's rolling in the sail now as well. It's a very interesting sailing trip going on the lee side of St. Vincent and then on the lee side of St. Lucia. At certain moments there's absolutely no wind and then the wind comes completely from the other side, 180 degrees. It keeps you busy. That's St. Lucia in front of us. Aurora is somewhere there along the coast now. And slowly the wind is turning in the right direction again as we are rounding the north point of St. Vincent. Le Pito, famous mountains, Santa Lucia. 
We just rolled the Code Zero out and we weren't even finished all the way and we had to roll it in again. As the wind went up to 18, 19 knots. We are heading for Marigot Bay. We don't want to go to Martinique in the dark. As close to St. Dan on the way there, there are all kinds of fishing nets uh, all over the place. Look at this. Wind from port all of a sudden. You see the change? <laughs> it went from uh, 150 to 275. So we warned Maroro and they probably contacted Sarah of Sweden behind them. Uh, just to let you know uh, where we are, the wind shifted 180 degrees. It's zero wind the last hour. What is going to happen here? And back again all the way. Look at the current against. So with two engines on, 10 knots of boat speed. In a sentimental mood, I can see the stars come through my room. While your loving attitude is like a flame that lights the gloom. Just a little mile to go. Anchored here at the very end of Marigo Bay. So Mororo is going to come and get a piece and then we continue to Martinique. This is Madeleine. Madeleine is calling me for my birthday. <laughs> Leaving Marigo Bay towards Martinique, where the technical stop will be. Long reef in the main, as we didn't know how much wind there would be here. In the end, we could have used the full main, but we'll, we'll get there this way as well. If we are arriving in Seton on Martinique, and we just crossed our previous track on the start of the world tour, when we sailed around the island, I guess, that, that was the track we crossed. Like a flame that lights the gloom on the wings of every king. If you look back, it looks very impressive actually what we did so many miles. I think the three years that we took for this is a good pace. But the art does in a little bit over a year, I think that could be really fast. Rose that I seem to fall, it's all like a dream 
if you're okay with four or five knots of speed and you to me I let you go between 35 and 40 true six knots bow speed yeah I think it's still a little bit too much but back in Martinique and ready for the technical stop. <laughs> 